The topic of this video is how to install Arch Linux. And to do so, I will start VirtualBox with Super F7. Everything is set the way it, I like it. And the ISO, the latest one, is inside. We boot up, Control F for full screen, and then we get our choice to start with. And the first line is the line I always use to install it on all my systems without fault. But if there are problems, you can try out other lines and even edit them if you want to. With a tap, you can actually add lines or text to it and try to boot from that. So the first line often, probably 90% of the people will work, if not 95% of the people, and you boot up. You'll get into, an, well, depending on the ISO, this is Arch Linux ISO, you end up in XFCE. And then we are going to install Arch Linux, but things have changed a little bit, hence the update video, how to install Arch Linux. We get this. This is new, thanks to Brad. We have a beautiful welcome app. It's more professional, but it also gives the user a welcome, right? But also uh, all the important links are in here. All the important links that matter to Arch Linux. Also the social media and the chat boxes, as I would, we would call them. Telegram is like casual talking about the weather or any Linux distribution. And this is Arch Linux, the technical stuff, just Arch Linux topics, nothing else. Help is there, etc. But also help here in the forum and so on. So you check it out. Now the app is there as well to have two major big buttons. We'd like you, we advise you to clean the computer with Gparted before installing. It's good advice, it's sound advice. So you click on it, you get a pop-up to say, let's have a look what we have. Often we have lots of partitions or we tried encryption and so on and so on. First clean everything and then start installing Calamaris is a good idea. Now, mind you, be sure to know what to select. So if you have several hard disks, then there's a danger, of course, that you are formatting your data hard disk. That's not the intention. So the operating partition or hard disk or SSD or NVMe, that's the one that should be selected. And then you decide which parts. So if you're in Windows, think again, be smart about it. Just don't start and deleting everything. So this one is an extension for delete. And this one was the swap delete. At this point in time, nothing is allocated, unallocated, but it's not applied yet. That's the list of the to do's. It will be applied here. So think again when you press this button because loss of data, right? But it's the best way to do in the sense of clean everything up clean slate and give Calamaris all the, the possibility to in install any of the things. We'll just go over them now. So we run Calamaris. Oh, I forgot to sell something. Killing it again. What we've done is also in this welcome app is make you alert you that if you do not have, have internet, you at least have a message up here. It will tell you you're not connected to the internet. So this applies to people who do not have a LAN cable, who have a Wi-Fi, right? It's not set yet, forgot to set it. Well, you see it. Calamaris will not install additional software. Simple as that. It will work, Arch Linux will be installed, but you'll have to install the software later on then. So back on, enable it, and what happens? It says, okay, we're fine. And now we can actually run Calamaris. And it will, at this point in time, it took a look at our internet connection and says, okay, fine, we're connected to the internet, I can install. It's a variable that's set. In here we have our version number, always interesting for later reference. But what's today also important is the choice of language. If you choose Calamaris to become in French, for, for example, Français. So if you decide I'm going to install Calamares or use the language Français, 
in calamars, what is going to happen, XFCE, mate, plasma will end up in French, will end up in your language. What was also going to happen that's new is that LibreOffice will also have your language, your locale. So do you decide actually from Calamaris whether to have LibreFresh also in your language? That's important for you to know. Going back to American English. So you decide what language your operating system ends up in, but also the LibreOffice. Then we have the choice window, right? We have, um, I draw anyway, a line here between or above accessories. There I draw a line. This is all software kind of thing, but this is all hardware related. You either need a Linux kernel, uh, the latest one. So this one is the option that you have a particular kernel. It's on the ISO, the kernel. But of course, in the meantime, new kernels come and you say, just give me already the newest kernel, the one that's out now and not the one that's on the ISO. So that's one option, but it can be also the idea to say, hmm, with my hardware, I definitely need a Linux long-term support LTS kernel. That's better for my, soft, my hardware, my machine. Again, if you have a computer that has NVIDIA and you know, you looked it up, you say, okay, my machine needs an NVIDIA package. Then you select this one. You can conclude again, no, my machine does require Linux LTS. So you need to also to select NVIDIA LTS. So both of them. And then the 390 package. So for different kind of hardware of NVIDIA, you select either this one or that one. And then last but not least, Intel U code or AMD U code. If you need it, if you want it, check it out. You can install it straight out of Calamaris. And then it's just software, right? You can install it or you can install it now or, or, or later. It's just software. If you have internet, it will just install, I've downloaded first, of course, and then installed. So you decide, well, let's go over the buttons here. You can actually click here or just say just one of them, right? It's just up to you. Fonts, games, this is the Steam package. If you wanna play on Steam, nothing easier than just click and you have Steam installed. Graphics, applications, fun, internet, lots of extras. You choose what you like to install more. Because Arch Linux is our flagship. And when you install more, we say, well, yeah, then it becomes our cruise ship. That's a bit the idea. So, so people know Arch Linux can get more, not less, more software. You select it here. Watch out for conflicts. So it's either the fresh one or the stable one to the still one. You choose one of them, not two of them. Some multimedia, more themes, the ones you like, utilities, and this again, virtual box for Linux kernel or Linux LTS. It all matters what kind of Linux kernel you want. So in here, you decide which kernel. And again, an office tool or suite. If you've made your selection, then you just go forward. Now you see, I haven't selected anything. So what will you get? Exactly the same thing as last month or previously, let's say in 2019, you'll just get a complete Arch Linux the way it looks here without extras, but with three browsers with GIMP, with Inkscape and so on. It is still the same Arch Linux. You can make the flagship become a cruise ship by just selecting more stuff. All right, so you select or do not select, it's up to you. Then you go for next, you decide where you live. Normally it's okay, but sometimes the server is in maintenance. So you just select it here or make a play from it and just start clicking. So you exactly know this is the place, that's Brussels. 
change maybe locale if you want to system language numbers maybe you can change that as well if you need to and now we go for next important for a keyboard in my case it's going to be azerti and then go for next and here it's is where the fun starts here is um, you can choose a lot of things right we can actually erase disk no swap no hibernate with hibernate so it all depends what you've done prior did you run gparted or not right if you see these um black line this black line means there is nothing it just came out of the shop you bought an ssd unpacked it and put it in and that's it this is the look unformatted so to speak we have one two three options plus if you encrypt it again one two three options so you can decide to have six kind of variances six kind of uh, um, installations with encryption or without encryption so the no swap is this meaning you don't use your hard disk completely you don't need a particular partition for your swap this says okay look my memory is a little bit low maybe it's better i have two gigabytes extra memory let's call it like that so if your memory goes um, is filling up then linux says maybe i should put this process here and this process there right but if you want to go to hibernate then you need a little bit more because your content of your entire memory needs to go in here and a little bit more so 8.8 .8, they count with 10 percent more so those are the options either encrypt or not encrypt that's up to you since this is a virtual box i don't want to spend a lot of time on swap and i say no swap then we go to next and we go for the full name maybe i was thinking i should install something so you'll see it um after linux right so you see it later on when i reboot so going back no problem back 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 there is some things to watch out for but we can go back so just install brave so that's okay so we'll see it next this is where it changes so i forgot where what keyboard i had so that's done this is still the same no swap well let's encrypt for fun just to show you guys it works and maybe you see it also in the video then that makes sense right <laughs> then we go for next next install and we wait this is the part where it's always critical so when it says filling up then you pass the critical phase this is where it's going to um, make the partitions on your system and filling up is dumping whatever is on your iso which is this on your hard disk ssd or nvme let's wait and do a control f full screen off and record again when everything is done all right it says it's finished and it wants to restart so that's new as well it's true so actually just have to press the button done and then we can restart now what we've changed in the back end that may be interesting and interesting as well for some of you is the fact that we've gone to uh, kpm core git rather than kpm core so that's why we can encrypt these things and this is the thing right this is now encrypted a thief needs to put in its uh, your password and otherwise nothing's gonna happen if i do a typo and it's the wrong password it will not boot up you have to reboot um, you cannot retry again and again and again each time you need to actually start from from uh, again reboot the system and then you get another um, chance at finding cracking the code so there you go you're at uh, grub and then you just boot up like everything like every other installation without encryption some little bit strange messages okay but finally in the end when you run it doesn't feel uh, any different but it has an encryption 
So we've uh, gone over to KPM Core Git, and um, let's let's see how that evolves over time, and if the development of KPM Core Git, uh, sorry, uh, KPM Core, becomes uh, better. We are welcomed again with the Arch Linux Welcome app, pointing you in several directions to read about uh, elements from uh, for Arch Linux about Arch Linux and you just get the knowledge in. We have already 39 updates to do. That's Arch Linux for you. And we have all the social media you come come a member of and also the Telegram and Discord. So the casual talk is Telegram and the real technical Arch Linux talk is Discord. We can say, okay, whatever. I don't want to see it anymore. It's interesting, but I don't want it to see it every time I start up. So that's the button down there. And then we have installed something else. Internet, we have installed Brave. And that's a new browser. Maybe you can check it out if that's something for you or not. So there you go. We have now an Articlex installation and um, you're all set. Okay, enjoy.